G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. Time for another tutorial. Pumping them out right now um, on how to make these little rock uh, surfaces or this rock texture uh, that I showed in the previous video to this one. Um, and that's, uh, I'll show you uh, some, some still pics now of, of this uh, rock face uh, texture that I've uh, created. And I've used a very similar technique on making uh, these little standing stones. So it's very simple, it's very easy, it's very quick. Um, it's, it's not as messy as the previous technique uh, that I've shown of taking a steel ruler and uh, scraping it along the edge of some foam. Um, this is a bit cleaner. There's still a little bit of cutting involved, just the basic shaping, but let's get into it and have a look at what we're gonna need. Rightio, so for this one, we're gonna need some high density polystyrene. This is extruded polystyrene. I use the yellow stuff here, this I can get uh, fairly easily here in Melbourne. Uh, it can be hard to find this sometimes in Australia. It's not used as frequently in residential building uh, here in Australia as it is in uh, places where they need to have this level of insulation for frost uh, areas and all that sort of stuff. But nonetheless, you can find it, you just need to look around. Uh, so we'll be using some extruded polystyrene. We need a knife, uh, an retractable one, a hot glue gun, obviously, to piece everything together. And the secret ingredient which gives this all away is a good selection of rock. Now these I found in my uh, backyard here at the, the warehouse. I don't know what sort of rock they are, but they've got all sorts of wonderful texture. Uh, and if you go hunting around, I'm sure you'll be able to find uh, some, uh, some similar rocks or uh, just something that's got a nice variation in its, in its shapes and its patterns and different sizes. I've got a small one here for pressing into small gaps, big ones here for scrunching foam down on, but this is what's going to give us our texture. So uh, let's have a look at the process. It's very, very easy and straightforward. Right, yeah, just for the sake of the demonstration, I'm just going to create just a, a sample rock face, just small uh, like this one, just with a couple of pieces of polystyrene. Uh, we'll do another layer. So just three rough shapes. It's going to give us a, a, a flat edge and we'll hot glue these all together. Just nice and rough. Now normally I'd use uh, liquid nails or some other type of adhesive rather than uh, hot glue. But um, hot glue is going to give us a, a nice quick bond, theoretically. Okay, so this is the reason why I normally use a different adhesive because hot glue, when it's very hot, can melt polystyrene very, very easily. Um, but for our purposes, just for the demonstration to show you the technique, it's, 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 it's okay. So I'm just gonna start by just shaping this off a little bit. So there we go, just a very rough shape. Now I'm gonna take my rocks and I really go to town on this just working the rock into it. So there we go, we've got a reasonable texture so far. I'm gonna take my smaller rock and start shaping out some, uh, some sort of formations. There we go. Minimal mess. Minimal uh, foam everywhere. All I need to do now is go get some wall spackle and fill in some of these gaps. So we'll quickly do that and we'll be finished. So any sort of uh, wall filler or spackle or whatever is going to work. This is just some pre-mixed stuff. And uh, I'm just going to take some and just jam it up into these cracks just to fill up this seam where the two pieces of foam meet. There we go. I haven't needed to put it everywhere because I've crushed so much of the foam that some of the joins 
uh, you, you really can't see them very well. But that's how we made this one here. Just by basically cutting the rough shape and then crushing the foam with a rock. And that's going to hold its shape. Now we can paint it in whatever style or colours that we need to. In this case I've just chosen a typical sort of grey scheme. There's some browns and a, and a little bit of orange mixed into this which you can see in person but I don't know about the camera. So I really like this technique. It's very easy, it's very quick, you don't end up with mess all over the place and you get a really nice sort of uh, organic texture and shape to your rock patterns. Um, you can find rocks everywhere. Don't need a steel ruler, don't need a bread knife, don't need a steak knife. Um, a little bit of cutting with a retractable blade just for your basic shape. And then everything else is done by crushing the foam uh, with, your, uh, with your rocks. And uh, I think that this texture comes up beautifully. So I'm going to make another piece. Maybe I'll film this and you can stick around and I'll put it into super fast forward mode. And we'll end up with something that's complete. So if you do want to stick around to see that, here is what we'll be making. Gone ahead and filmed part of it already. And uh, come back and finish this one off. So we've, we've, we've carved this up. It's basically just a, 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 a short snubby hill here, which I'll explain in the video about why I've done that. And then just a couple of layers of foam that we've smooshed up with a rock. And uh, so if you're interested in seeing this happen, and then shock horror, Viv is actually going to paint this and show you, which I rarely do if you've been watching my channel, how often do you see me paint something? Not very often. I show you painted stuff, but I'll show you how to build something like I did this one here. Uh, but then uh, paint it. Oh god, that really happens, doesn't it? So, if you want to watch that uh, that video, then uh, it'll be coming up shortly after this one. Easy rocks. I like it. I like it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. See ya.